Okay. <laughs> it's coming up here. It's been easy so far. Lots of twists, twirls, everything. Launches into the sky. A lot easier than what, what I thought, actually. Um, very safe. And uh, right now we've leveled off for a few seconds and uh, we'll be hitting, uh, hitting into zero G soon. With the assistance of Peter Diamandis, we're gonna try some new things here, some flips, some turns, and we'll see how it turns out. I think it'll be just fine. Here we go. The plane's got a tilt. Good posture is important here. Looking forward, don't wanna lose your orientation. And pretty soon, the floor will drop out. Here we go. Lunar two, lunar two. All right, okay, backflip. Whoa, a little disorienting, but it's great. Okay, here's a dive, Buzz would love this. <laughs> the camera crew loved it too, thanks guys. <laughs> okay, flip backwards. Whoa, not quite. Whatever they said about being a pro gymnast, I'm not sure. I can't even beat that. That's great, though. Here's the big boy stuff. We've done the Lunar G stuff. That's the easy stuff. And now we're doing zero G. Zero one. Here it is, the first zero G flight that we have. We've done one Martian and four Lunar so far. And we're going to do a total of five zero G flights here, parabolas. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I can't hold on to anything here. Sorry. Ah, I love it. Amazing, amazing. That was the best yet, and also the hardest to control. I loved it. All right. Amazing. My goal team here seems to be just fine. We're having fun. Everything's good. Congratulations, Peter. This is something that anyone that's got a sense for adventure, any sense for anything new, should try. Peter, Peter Diamandis, the company's president and CEO, will be trying a full matrix view, as he calls it, going all the way around the tunnel here. Uh, this is something special, guys. Now, I've just got to make sure that I don't forget what I'm doing while I'm watching Peter. Peter's done a lot of practice on these things. He's done over 400 of these parabolic flights, uh, 200 on this plane. So he's very prepared, and I'm lucky to get him in my group. So. Uh, we'll watch Peter do a matrix here and uh, see what happens. Um, this is something that, uh, for someone like myself, I can show off to my now 17-month-old son because he's going to be an astronaut one day, or at least he'll be a dreamer like I was uh, growing up. It's something very special and something very accessible to the public. So for that, we should get excited about it. I've heard there's a giggle factor here. Watch this. Here goes Peter. There's the matrix. Hey! All right. Oh! Amazing. It's the matrix in real life. Spinning, turning, everything. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah! That was amazing. You kind of buffed yourself a little bit. This is the third out of five. Here we go. It's almost like a... You gotta watch your head a little bit. You gotta keep your bearing. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 